All right, what up, YouTube? Um, I'm doing another one of those retrospect rap songs because um, this is a song I heard maybe 15 years ago. Um, it's Lock Him Shabazz, the Lost Tribe of Shabazz. I um, you know, anyone who's a hip hop head obviously heard and became familiar with a lot of uh, um, five percenter Nation of Islam terminology. So we didn't, a lot of us didn't really understand it. We thought it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Because Wu-Tang was doing it and a whole lot of other people were doing it. Um, but um, I got into Lock Him Shabazz a lot later than this was released. But not to the point where I learned the lyrics or whatever, but um, I'm going back and listening to it as an adult and see what I can pick up, you know? So let's start. Cool. What book you reading? Hold up. What book you reading? Video too damn blurry. Was it just was it this blurry in the early nineties? I don't remember. Was it this blurry that you couldn't read it on the screen, or was it just me? Is it just now? Mmm, ancient Egyptian magic. Which I don't know. I feel like for the Muslims might be kind of haram. I know the five percenters don't consider them Muslims, but the nation of Islam do, right? I don't know. Wait a minute, I can't sit back, but we have your autograph. Sure, if you have an ink pen. Yo, lock. It's Egypt. Word, I can see myself right there. Oh, the man's in Egypt. Okay. If that ain't an early 90s beat, late 80s, early 90s beat, I don't know what is. It got like the boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's almost like the uh, Fresh Prince intro almost kind of, you know? Okay. You know who I think would fucking kill this beat though? Koji rap. Koji rap with his lisp will come in. Same with the thing. The button. <laughs> I couldn't even do it, but like, y'all, if y'all know. From the motherland, by the other man brought to the wilderness like a ventriloquist. What do you say? Is that what he said? Like puppets by playing fear in there. Oh. Nowadays, most of us are nowhere to start. 10% of us can help, but don't feel a need. They love greed. This really bothers. We all love he greed, and I know he about to say this really bothers me, and I, I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't mad at that because yeah, that's that's going on today. Two days going on, but that's always been going on. That greed. That's why they got. That's why they talk about it in all the holy books and all the mythology and in parables. They talk about it because it's always been relevant. You know what I'm saying? But anyways. Oh. See, from what, from my little uh, studious and whatever, learning a little bit, I learned a little bit about the uh, the five percenters and this and that. But the eighty five percent is the dumb, deaf, and blind. The ten percent are knowledge, but they use it for devilish behavior. And then the five percent are the poor, righteous teachers, something like that. But don't quote me. You know what's sad is a lot of people that claim 5%. If that's what the the truth is, or that's what, what it was supposed to be going on, is that 5% is ready to die for the cause, that ain't the, that ain't reality. Because a lot of people claim 5%. And they moving like 85. They're moving like the 85. If, if I'm lying, please correct me. But all I see is jewelry, hose, ass, this and that. So... You know what I mean? They don't really take it that seriously, but it's, it sounds nice to rap about and, and to use the lingo, right? But he said, "If you don't get it, no, nah, I'm sorry." He said, "If you don't get it, I'm held responsible." I re I like that. Hold on, I gotta rewind that one. And the source is Elijah, Elijah Muhammad, right? For a lot of people that don't know, this was one of Eminem's favorite rappers too. 
Eminem used to love uh, Lock Him Shabazz. He probably still do, but he used to. I remember hearing one of his songs. I think it was uh, uh, the Yellow Brick Bro when he was trying to explain why he had that song with the N word and talking, calling his ex a uh, black bitch and whatever. And he was, and that was actually a fire song. He really broke some shit down, right? But he talked about how he used to rock the. Uh, the African, I used to rock the African medallion, but I was rocking it in 96. I was maybe 12 or 13. And um, niggas around me looking at me like I was crazy, but I didn't give a fuck because I'm African and I'm gonna respect it. You know what I mean? Like that, that was, I, I'll rock it now. I'll, but the only difference, I'll probably ice it out. But hey, hey, don't judge me now. Mm. Someone in the comments, please tell me know who that. Please tell me who that sample is. I don't know who the sample is, but they don't sound like Malcolm. I don't know who 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 he's sampling for that. But I will. People will survive America. I don't know who that is. Stay awake and don't sleep, cause I'm coming after ya. Devils I smash and leave them flat as a spatula. <laughs> the mathematical radical, getting emotional, very emphatical. Man said, I'm, 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 I'll flatten you like a spatula. The mathematical radical. Um, something, something emphatical. I don't even, I, I missed that bar. That's another thing I learned. Cause I, I try to, I try to learn about the supreme mathematics, but I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb, deaf and blind. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, um. I learned first things I was learning was that yeah they they break down um the 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 mileage of the whole entire earth that the sun is 93 million miles away from the earth just stuff like that right I don't remember most of it but I got to get back into the teachings and you know but like you know I'm doing it from the internet so it's not really you know I'm in Canada it's not like we got uh, gods out here like that and you know you know don't judge me so I'm just trying to learn and I always was been trying to learn but hey yeah they do that they do do that you know what i'm saying they do do <laughs> they do try to uh, uh portray out africans as animals and so forth right but with that being said there's a lot of people that fell for it like them uh, Hebrew Israelites, you know, because this is controversial, but the Bible is a very anti-African uh, book, right? It, it, it speaks uh, negatively about the Hamites and we, we are cursed. We are a cursed people, sons of Ham. And so the way that the Hebrew Israelites or some of them, not all sects, but I think the ISUPK for sure, because I know Cesar Yach preaches that shit, but, um, basically say that yeah africans are savages and they're this and that and the african and then uh black people in america are are not connected to that right because they're israelites right so i don't that's why i don't really i'd love to debate a hebrew Israelite one day but hey look at the things we did with our own bad hands we built pyramids mm. For those who don't know, I know y'all think I'm whatever I'm whatever, but y'all probably think I'm a Cosby kid or something. I'm not. I can rap. I really can. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't think just learning and studying rap my whole life I wouldn't know something a thing or two about rapping. I could rap. But if I would have rap with somebody, I definitely I don't know if Lock Him is still around, but I would rap with him if he accepted it. You know what I'm saying? I would rap with Lock him. I make a song with him too. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. But let's go. You know who that kind of sound like? Who was that Black Panther that was the gay dude? What the fuck was his name? I forgot his name, but he was like a, a yeah, yeah. He, 
for those who know who know, but I think that's who it might have been. I don't know. Don't quote me, right? But Let me rewind that. I couldn't wait to battle a beat like this track. This so deaf, I had to pump my fist. Like, okay. my pounds weigh six, six billion tons. Heavy as the earth. A lyrical function. Imagine if every black man, woman, and child would simply refuse to go to work for one day. Do you know how much money these companies will lose? Since everything's based on money, that's what we gotta get. We gotta learn when to quit, when not to quit. It's really sad. I know some people think that one day we'll be treated. Oh, oh, they tell you that you're free. Well, free to do what, though? Because you know that freedom got limitations, right? If you don't know, if you haven't learned yet, I'm guessing you probably in your in your your early 20s or younger than that. Something, I don't know, because we ain't that free, trust me. We never will be. For all the legs, they took the change, big deal. They still left them around our brains. Things I say make the government fear this. I speak with authority so you can hear this. Okay. Oreos, that's why I got the bomb. You so-called nigga rich Uncle Tom. We're on the rise up. You better rise up. You can't stop us now. Are you surprised, yo? You might take it as a political outblast. But we're the lost time too fast. I know this is a random thought, but like I wonder what um John Henry Clark or uh Dr. Ben or uh somebody like that would have thought to hear these lyrics. I know they probably you know back in the day hearing rap was like, yo, this is really fast. Like I don't you know what I'm saying? But like I, I wonder what they would have uh, uh um react I wonder how they would have interpreted it, all of this and how they would have felt about it. But let's go. Okay. Yeah, that's dope, man. That's fire. But like, hey, man, if Lakim Shabazz is out there listening, man, I'll rap with you, man. I'll make a song like, just teach me the knowledge, please, brother. But all right, man, I got to go. I'm in a rush right now. I got motherfuckers texting me. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.